Wow. Thank you very much. Um, it's a pleasure to be speaking with um, the demographic of the young. So I'm just going to straight to my talk. So when you hear the word revolution, I know what comes to the mind of the world is something around political arrest, civil riots, you know, and from the world revolution, you will hear revolt, right? To revolt. And to revolt comes to us. It comes with some energy. But today, I am not yet to talk about such revolution. I am yet to talk about a peaceful revolution which concerns you and me. Which concerns you because this is agriculture. Because this is agriculture, we're talking about food. All right. So, agricultural revolution. And how does this agricultural revolution play in the whole journey of Africa's continent? And that's what I'm going to talk about today. And how can you be a contributor into this revolution? From the beginning of time, you know, just like every other industry, agriculture has had a whole facial of changes. Some evolutions, or you call it revolution, with it. And that is due to the technological innovations that has visited the industry or you call it the landscape, okay? And this revolution, you know, they come in diverse manner, or we, we can describe them in diverse ways. And I tapped it, how far have we come as human race? How far have we come when it comes to agricultural revolution? Let me just take us back into history. There's what we describe as agriculture 1.0. And that was when we adopted cultivation of crops, Rain of animals, you know, that one, primarily. And the second revolution, or you call it agriculture 2.0, brought to us or a change from manual operation or animal laden operation to a mechanized operation. We moved from that, from that um, animal or human feeding. Um, agriculture into mechanization as the combustion, uh, internal combustion engine offered, offered us into that revolution. And that's what is called steam engine. That's history. Now, we are now experiencing also agriculture 3.0, which is a revolution called the Green Revolution. It brought to us a greater productivity in agriculture. When we were gifted with the gift of agrochemicals, fertilizers, genetic materials that transforms the yield that farmers have on their field, brought to us industrial agriculture, where people can be able to farm on a large scale. But that said, now to the topic of today, which is agriculture 5.0. It is referred to as a digital revolution. A revolution described as a change that brought in or associated a lot of technologies. Technologies like IoT, artificial intelligence or machine learning, big data, cloud computing, and a lot more. And even genetic engineering. Just like Industrial 4.0, it also made this, all of these technologies together to give us something of value and something different. Now, just to give you a little picture of what I'm trying to explain, or how does this agriculture 4.0 relate to you? Or, just in simpler terms, feeding, and that's, uh, this picture is actually from TGIR, uh, the platform for big data. They describe the farm of the future as one that is interconnected together with two technologies, satellites and, the, and drones, as a remote sensing um, data collection vehicle that help farmers collect data and get insight on their fields, stored into the cloud storage. I mean, yeah, cloud storage, big data, 
I'm sensor on the ground measuring and calculating for you, helping you know what is on the um, in your field, not you actually getting there. And that's actually the future that we are looking at. But the question is, where are we as Africa? Or in Africa, where are we in this chain of revolution? Where are we particularly? We are between, from my experience, and as some experts alluded, we are just right between in a curve. Let's describe it as a bell curve. Right between 2 and 3. That's agriculture 2.0 and 3.0. You will not be surprised that we still practice 1.0 though. And you will also be excited that we have 4.0 too. But this is where we have. However, based on our potential as Africa, do you know that Africa owns 60%? A whole 60 percent that's two over three of uncultivated arid land in the world, and yet we are still starving, and yet there's still no sufficient food going around, and yet more than 50 percent of our income goes into food. I mean, the student, the family, man, woman, you know how it goes, but this is the potential that we have. Also, considering the fact that we have abundance of land and just right in the right place, we have good weather as compared to the rest of the world. Largely, we have diverse agroecology system that allows us to grow food in diversity. The question again is, where are we? The next slide. The joy and the good news I, I bring to you is that we do not need to actually, you know, when you are driving, probably a manual car, you have to count from zero, one, two, three, J, in terms of J, you have to count, to reach to five, right? Or whatever um, J system your, your, your car is using. But in this case, we do not have to have to actually have to count one, two, three, four. We can just leap into the form. We can just leap into the new revolution. And that is why I said, why do we have to adopt Agriculture 4.0? Why do we have to leverage on Agriculture 4.0 to bring out the potential of Africa? To bring out the potential that we have to be food secure? Number one, the goal of Agriculture 4.0 is to ensure that we have economic, social, and environmental sustainability. That's the goal. While you are doing that, you are also securing your profits and productivity. Through ma minimizing wastage on the field. And this is what some people call the agriculture 4.0, precision agriculture, or smart farming. Yes, but in my own ideology, it goes beyond that because agriculture 4.0 is a revolution that cuts across the value chain from the soil to the table. That interconnectivity that we enjoy through various technology. Now let's talk about the potentials and opportunities driving this revolution. I want you to see this revolution as not something far, as something that is not far. No, but as something that is actually closer to us. And we as Africans, we have more advantage or we have some advantage to leverage on, to bring it to pass. Agriculture 4.0. That's the digital revolution. Bringing about productivity and sustainability in the agricultural industry. Number one, high smartphone and internet, uh, mobile internet penetration across Africa. Africa is said to have a very, a, an increasing um, rate of internet penetration. We have moved from different connectivity from 2G to 3 to 4. Now we are not talking about 5. These are drivers that will bring to us agriculture 4.0. Number two, it is said that more than, more than 5 billion people have access to internet come 2025. And that is sure because right now, more than, more than, more than 50% of people have internet access already. And the rate that, that to which it is increasing 
it's so it's 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 moving at 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 a speed that no one can stop. Another point or opportunity to which we can leverage on is the increase in the number of satellites, and not just only increase in the number of satellites, but in terms of the resolution. It, that means the quality of the data we collect from uh, from these satellite images or imagery allows us to be able to go further and annex and go to 4.0. Another point, the next slide. Technology is getting smaller by the day. It's not that big like your IBM computer. I'm not sure some people know IBM computer right here. But we are getting, I mean, the technology is getting compacted, more portable, and we can be able to use them. These are the leverage or opportunities and prospects that we can use to unearth the agriculture 4.0. So technology is getting smaller, and it's also getting cheaper by the day. You wonder how much you buy phone 10 years ago. That's your smartphone. Now look at the cost right now, and they are becoming easy to use. And again, we also have high computing power. Just like the, the, uh, the, 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 your computers, your, your phone, and various sorts of technologies are coming, coming in, they are also as they are coming in, in small, smaller packages, but they are not reducing in terms of power or processing power. They are actually fast. And lastly, from my point, we can leverage on our youthful population. And that's the key that we are talking about here. Our youthful population, because the youth has the energy to bring the revolution that we, look, that we, are, that, that we are anticipating, to bring in this revolution, and to deliver to us the benefit of digital revolution. This revolution is not something coming in the next 10 years. It is actually something happening around us. That's me championing the adoption of drone technology, one of the digital technologies of this revolution. And I'm using this opportunity to encourage you to also bring on your game into this revolution. Let's change the landscape. Let's bring productivity to agriculture in Africa. Africa has the potential to feed the world. Like I said, we have 60% of uncultivated arable land in the world. We have the population and we have the demography to push this technology. So we are using drone technology to help collect data, providing insights to far for farmers. We call it insight intelligence to farmers that allows them to practice precision agriculture. And what does precision agriculture give to them? A farm at a reduced price. I mean, or cost of production. And they also ensure productivity. And much more, with precision agriculture, we are guaranteeing environmental sustainability while we are also stealing social sustainability. We are also using drones to perform specific tasks on the field, helping the life of farmers and making it easy for them to farm. Taking and changing the narrative of agriculture from an idea of a back-breaking um, profession to something attractive, to something that is productive. Now, as I conclude, and I bring my talk to conclusion, Agriculture 4.0, which is the digital revolution, is right here. And I'm encouraging you, I'm calling on you to join us. It is not a matter of, I'm not an agricultural professional. No, I am an agricultural professional. The question I want to ask you is, are you going to be a player? Are you going to be an enabler? Or perhaps you just want to observe? The choice is yours, but the choice I would advise you to choose is to actually be a player. Be a player, or perhaps be an enabler. Bring this technology closer with the objective that we can be able to deliver the promise of security in Africa. And we can do that with environmental sustainability in mind. Thank you very much.